Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices. This is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Monday, January 5th, 2021. Sorry. And uh, if you like to support the channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are at 4,348. So at uh, nearly the all time highs, and we're getting very, very overstretched at this current stage. We are on the edge of being overbought in the RSI at 70 and uh, way outside of the bullish band. And usually that means that we'll have a pullback towards the middle or towards the 50 moving average, as we can see basically here in the past, basically how the past has been playing out. So, uh, yes, it is getting very overstretched. Just a minor bad news of, of inflation or, or Fed saying something wrong, something like that. Like that, we will have this pulling back, but we are very much in uptrend. There's no denying that, and uh, and pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band or the 50 or the bottom here will most likely be uh, bought into. Technical indicators, otherwise, are very bullish indeed. So let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones uh, probably has some. Um, room left to the upside we are not at the top of the bullish band but we are getting very close to the all-time highs here of the 45k we can also see in rsi we're only at 60 so there's a lot of room still to the upside if we were to pull back from here then uh, the middle of the bullish band with 50 uh, 20 exponential all are in this uh, area here of uh, 34 uh, 34,312 and um, if we fall to that point we'll probably rally to the upside technical indicators at this current stage are very bullish all of them so let's look at the Nasdaq so Nasdaq had a really nice day on on um, on Friday and um, compared to the S&P 500, this also is very overbought and overstretched at this current stage. We're trading at 13,718, stretching this to 15,000 uh, in one go. That will probably be very, very difficult. A pullback towards the middle, uh, towards uh, roughly 13,200, give or take, or probably down to uh, uh, 13,000, uh, that 14,000, sorry that probably will be where buyers will come back in so around this area here or this area here or probably down to the 50 moving, moving average down here at 13,800 give or take that's probably also an area of interest um, if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish cci is bullish rsi is also bullish but significantly over bought at this point and therefore pullbacks should be expected we are definitely in an uptrend there's no uh, real um, there's no real um, signs of this market breaking down anytime soon so let's look at the german dax so german dax has been all over the place the last few weeks and uh, still is and at this current page it's just it's really difficult to say where this is going it can basically fall it can go higher uh, we can say that the highs here are 15,800, lows here roughly 15,300 in that range. Technical indicators are also fairly all over the place. MACD is bearish, stochastic is flat, CCI has become bullish, and RSI is flat. So it is a waiting game. Um, target here will most likely be 16,000, break to the downside, 15,000, and probably significantly lower than that. So let's look at the FTSE. So FTSE didn't do really well on Friday. It did really well on Thursday. And uh, Friday was really choppy. Went up and down, up and down. Had really problems getting through 7,164. Um, it probably is just a matter of time before we get towards 7,200 and then beyond that. Technical indicators, they are also fairly all over the place. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is bullish. And the RSI is flat. So is also just a waiting game to the downside the bottom of the bullish band roughly 7000 that has proven to be significant support so let's look at the china 50. so china 50 fell off a cliff on on friday 
So it probably has some room still left to the downside as 16,600 is the previous lows here. And we are getting really close to that. If that breaks, then 16,000, 15,000 probably get uh, come into play. So the way that this, this has been behaving uh, for the last four months is that it has rallied at the end of the month and then broken down at the beginning of the month. Rally, broken down, rally, broken down, rally, broken down. And uh, yes, last, yeah, last month, but the, the, June was definitely not good for this indice whatsoever. But we did have a rally at the end of the month and then we bro broke down. So question is whether or not this holds. We are significantly on, underneath the uh, 200 moving average again. 20 exponential is most likely going to cross the 200 and the 50 probably as well if this continues. But we are getting very overstretched here to the downside and we are also getting fairly oversold in RSI. Otherwise, technically are looking dreadful indeed. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.